welcome my channel literature with life today i am going to discuss about the great poet alexander pope who belonged to the age neoclassical period from 1700 to 1744 and he was also known as the 18th century poet about alexander pope dr samuel johnson said that if pope be not a poet where poetry to be found it is said in life of pope written by dr samuel johnson there are another sorry there is another great poet matthew arnold called dryden and pope classics of our prose here we know about the date of year is 1688 we have to know about the personal life of alexander pope alexander pope had tuberculosis which affected his bone he was only 4 foot 4 feet 6 inch tall he had hunchback he was alienated from the society as society because he was roman catholic he had physical deformity actually for his belonging to the catholic catholic he was removed from the society next he was famous for using heroic couplet in his writing alexander pope used heroic couplet you can see heroic couplet in the writing of alexander pope it was the age of queen anne she was monarch but she did not have any contribution in literature pope had no profession other than literature actually pope only involved in literature he had no other profession from his org he bought villa at twickenham situated on the thames river bank pope was also called wasp of twickenham actually for his villa at twickenham he was also called wasp of twickenham pope was the member of scribblers scribblers club which was established in the year 1713 and his friends john gay jonathan swift thomas fornell john arthur not alexander pope all are the members of scribblers club and their aim was only to satirize ignorance and pedantry in the form of fictional writer martinus scribblers except john gay all are satirist you can see all the satirist here they are satirist after shakespeare he was the writer in the oxford dictionary of quotation actually alexander pope made many quotation in his writings he educated himself by reading horace juvenal homer basil chaucer shakespeare and dryden he had friendship with addison and still actually richard still next i will discuss about the pope about pope's important works 
the pastorals it was his first work wrote when he was only 20, only 16 years old second wine sort forest third essay one criticism the rape of the lock homer's translations in english iliad 720 odyssey 725 and 26 with the help of two scholars phantom and, and broom you can see the writer phantom and broom in my next lecture number 6 the dunciard essays in essays on man epistle to dr arvathnot two dialogues entitled 1758 ode on solitude ode for music now we are going to discuss about the writings of alexander pope epistle to dr arbat not which was written in 1735 35 it was an epistle that means letter or letters it was a satirical poem addressed to his friend dr arbat not a physician first published in 1735 1735 when pope learned that he was dying pope described it as memorial of their friendship pope wrote it in the memorial of their friendship it was written in heroic couplet the opening lines of the poem is sat sat the leader the door sat sat the door good john fatigued i said i'm again repeating this line sat sat the door good john fatigued i as he is afraid of budding poets to come in who are like dogs pop called chief critics who criticizes him as donkeys and fools pope satires ambrose philips addison lord halifax lord harvey called he called addison atticus he called addison atticus you may see atticus called to addison he is genius but he wants to dominate literary world he called addison coward as addison attack attacks many writers but he fears being attacked by them then a notable line willing to wound yet after to strike addison context he called ambrose philips plagiarist about lord halifax he loved being flattered he called lord harvey isporas isporas is a man who drinks the milk of donkey he is capable only of killing a butterfly with his wheels notable line who breaks a butterfly on a whip lord harvey context next i am going to dis discuss about an essay on criticism in 1711 three years to complete it it took three years to complete it is it is a verse essay it is divided into three parts in part third a tribute to longinus quotations to our is human to forgive is divine this is a great 
कोट व्हिच वी इन आवर एवरीडे लाइफ से ऑल द पीपल्स एंड ऑल द मेन अबाउट आवर मिस्टेक्स इफ समथिंग हैपन देन अ लिटिल लर्निंग इज अ डेंजरस थिंग दिस इज आल्सो अ ग्रेट कोटेशन फूल्स रास इन हुअर एंजल्स फेयर टू ट्रेड दिस इज द ग्रेट लाइन फ्रॉम हुअर इम्पोस्टर लेटर यूज द टाइटल हुअर एंजल्स फेयर टू ट्रेड फॉर इज नोबेल इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव Essays in criticism, written by Matthew Arnold, you have not to mix about the writing essays on criticism and essays in criticism. Essays on criticism are written by Alexander Pope, and essays in criticism are written by Matthew Arnold. The great lines. true is in writing comes from art not chance as those move easiest who have learned to dance its mean its meanings poets are made not born essay on criticism attacked dr dennis as appears who appears in pope satire the danceyard an essay on an essay on criticism was written in tradition aristotle true wit is not of nature to advantage dressed what oft was thought but never so well expressed meaning true wit is not saying anything new but unearthing what already exists and making it clearer to people the final section was ab about the moral qualities and virtues so thank you friends i will discuss about the rip of the lock the dunciard next day or part 2 so if you want to subscribe then subscribe now and if you like my video then like it and share it thank you